Welcome to another edition of In the Pocket. All thanks to the friendly staff at Palmer Vet. And I survived a May race week spider. The voice is a little <laughs> yes. bit croaky, but uh, I got through unscathed. But, mate, firstly, how do the 50th birthday celebrations go, big fella? Yeah, no, it was awesome. Look, it was uh, it was quiet on our behalf. Yeah, it was just uh, with the family. But I spend all my time in Queensland. They're always in Melbourne. And, you know, with a wife here, here and here and kids everywhere, it was actually <laughs> good just to uh, be able to catch up. And, you know, we went through the city of Melbourne and we had entree at one place. We had main in another place and dessert in another place. And, uh, it. yeah, it was fantastic. So it was always, yeah, it was good. Um, they brought me in an Apple watch because I think now I'm 50, I'm going to have a fall uh, and that automatically rings Fitness, triple O. Mate. Fitness, mate. That's what it is. Don't worry about that. I just want you fit and healthy, big fella. Well, the best thing about that is that my phone, I've only got, my phone's too old. It doesn't link into the Apple. <laughs> <laughs> Surely not. Yeah. So I've got to get a new phone so mate, I can actually use the watch. Once you got the Apple watch, you won't look back, buddy. And they'll link it up to the Nike fitness and all that kind of stuff. You'll love it. You'll love uh, it. New man. I'll be, in, I'll be in good nick. Mate. Hey, listen, let's get into last week. Yes. Brown it was. Uh, and All I must around. admit, I, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed with the bad. We're not going to go there first, but we will get there. I can't believe uh, the team of Palmer have plucked this out for mine. But well, uh, they, they don't lie. They don't lie. They can't deny the bad, but we'll look at the good and the ugly first. Let's look at the good first and the City Swans. Uh, that was a really good win, of course. Uh, they took on the Giants, mate. Great victory. Um, Giants have been up and about. We knew that. This was a statement game from Sydney, 29-point victors, and they are tracking along really, really well at the moment, aren't they, Spide? Well, when you're starting to get a, you know, a forward in McDonald who's kicking goals, and I just said midfield, when you've got Heaney leading and then Golden can step in, uh, Haywood, like they've just got so many good numbers that can go through, and they've got players to come back as well. So, yeah. you know, they are in ripping nick at the moment, the Swans. And, you know, one thing you never do, and you should always learn this, is you don't have a crack at Sydney Hill in the week either. You know, for, for players to come out and just say, you know, Sydney been there for a long time. They've mastered the art. They've, they're the only team that I think they've played the most finals out of any AFL team in the last 14 years. So they know what it's about and they know consistency and they just get the job done. So, yeah, they're looking good, the Swans. They are looking really good. And uh, GWS, you don't take a lot away. You are playing the best team in the competition. Yeah, you can say you're four, four or five goals away from them. They had their own issues, but at the same time, I think, yeah, Grundy's been a great pickup. Oh, that's you know, what I was going to say. I reckon he's the, I reckon he's the recruit of the year. Well, you know what? they And they always do that. They always get one person who can really, you know, they recruit one person that can really change the way they play or the setup of their game. Yeah. They needed a Ruckman, and they said, oh, we don't care what it costs, we're going to go and get him. And uh, oh, went and got him, and now it's paying for it. Yeah, good on them. They're very, very good at it, uh, and they have been for such oh, yeah. a long time. Hey, uh, the ugly, before we get to the bad, uh, Bulldogs, yo yay season continues. Uh, they were disappointing against the Hawks for mine. Started the game really well, kicked the first three. Oh, Hang on, here we go. This is going to be a I was in the queue. Oh. Uh, I, I must have been. I wasn't, mate, because if you go back a week, big fella, I was all over the Hawkies. Yeah, I know you were, but after three, the, the first, they kicked one with 18 seconds. They kicked another one within two minutes or something. They had yeah. three on the board, and I'm like, I'm in the queue. I'm collecting here, you little ripper. <laughs> I and then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then suddenly it's just, ah, oh, they just folded. But, you know, as you, you've mentioned over the last couple of weeks, and we always have, Hawthorne will give you a game. Hawthorne will give you a shot. They've been blown out of the park, I think, once. But outside of that, it's only a couple of goals in their games. They they have a real good crack. They got a good core of young blokes. They had a couple of injuries as well. We saw um you know a shoulder pop out and come back on, and it's just, know, it was just yeah, yeah it's just amazing game. So yeah, very very disappointing for the dogs. And you know, I can't wait to this weekend because it's a very big challenge for them again. Hey, it's gonna be massive because they well they're taking on Richmond, and I must admit it's it's win or bust for the Bulldogs because then in round ten they got the Giants away, round eleven they got the Swans at home, then they got oh. Collingwood, and then they got oh Bulldogs. yuck. So oh. Frick, I mean, if they don't if they don't beat Richmond this weekend, I hate to say it, Spide, but uh, I think don't, the don't. walls are gonna collapse in there at the Western Oval for more. You mine. reckon? Will Beveridge see? No, I'm not saying that because he's a scary man, Bevo. If he oh, watches no. the podcast, mate, we're going to hunt him down. We are not saying that. Will Bevo, will Bevo make the Brisbane game? Mm. 
Pull, I don't know. I don't know, mate. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> I'm sitting here. Palmer bit. Get us, get us hey, some pods. Get, get I've us. got I've got some tape here. I'm taping. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm shut up. <laughs> yeah, shut up, shop, mate. Hey, listen, the bad, what is going on here? The Tigers well, get dismantled by the Dockers. 54 points. Mate, we got that many players out at the moment, the poor old Tiggies. Um Come on, we can't be just. You know, I actually reckon we're going as good as we can be at the moment. Oh look, yeah, you got a couple of injuries. I think the main concerning start here, and and unfortunately, you only play to the caliber you've got as well. You know, unfortunately, you see a lot of sides playing lesser sides, and the game isn't that great. So, look for me, I think the big issue here for the Richmond is, um, I. I yeah, Dusty just doesn't seem to have that spark that he had. Yes, we know he's getting on. You know, you still want Shy Bolton to be able to deliver each and every week. So, you know, you probably want a little bit more out of a few of the players as well. I just don't think, you know, it's hard when you've had so many injuries. Tommy Lynch is a big, big out as well. And, you know, I, they're... They're at a tough stage. They're at a tough time. Yeah, you just come off triple premiership. You've lost a couple of your stars. They do need a, you know, you don't want to say, you know, the, the rebuilding phase, but I think it's just the way you lose as well. I actually don't reckon we're going that bad. I reckon we're blooding a few kids. We're getting some games into them. Yeah. And, you know, like we're, we're just 12 months behind where maybe we should have, should have been, you know, like that's. Yeah, but I, I reckon that's I, would, not. I would have preferred us going to the draft last year, um, you know, without getting Hopper and Tarano and a few of those, I would have preferred to maybe not worry about that, go down that path. But I think they thought they were obviously still in that window of opportunity. So, and I spoke to a Richmond, I won't mention his name, but I did oh, come on. a Richmond hierarchy uh, individual at uh, at the May Racing Carnival. And uh, oh, wait up. Oh, here, here we go. Look wait here. up. The Tiger Talk, the Tiger Talk has gone oh. absolutely. <laughs> Look at him. back. He's back. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but he did say, uh, this year's draft, we're on. This year's draft is, uh, I think we got something like six or seven picks uh, in the, uh, in the top 40 or something he said. So, um, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to be all right. Don't worry about that at Tigerland. Hey, Tiger and, and, right. yeah, let's, let's be honest really quickly about it too, though. You can't, I know you want to always be playing finals, but you've had a pretty good run. Mate, we won't when you. And when you change your hierarchy and you lose the caliber of players you have, and it's not just on the field, it's the leadership around the football club. It's everything that goes with, with Cochin and Rewalt and these guys. So absolutely. So there's a lot more to it. You got a new coach coming in, a new system. You know, not everything happens overnight with new coaches and new systems either. So, you know what, for Tiger fans, you know, coming from a Saints fan, you got nothing to whinge about. Mate, you make me feel better each and every week, you Saints supporters. Hey, let's have a look at your tips last weekend, mate. You went five from nine. I went six from nine. Um, so I've just beat you there, mate, in your 51st year. Just get a yeah. little stick for me. Oh. So, uh, I'll tell you what, though. I think <laughs> most people... Dementia setting in for you or something earlier? Yeah. <laughs> I reckon I, I picked those when I was still 49. Um, I, I reckon most people... Uh, at the moment, kind of that six. I wouldn't have known anyone who would have got nine over the weekend. No, nah, it would have been a great result, mate, because the Crows were, you know, uh, that was that was a tough one to get. Collingwood Carlton, we knew that was a, a toss of the coin. Giants. There was so uh, many, so many 50-50s there that we thought, you know what, the biggest yeah. disappointment for me over the weekend, I thought actually was the Gold Coast Suns. Yeah, they, they were disappointing big time, mate, against Brisbane. Well, it's Brisbane, a lot of injuries and all that kind of stuff. Like they, they, they had three injuries. Bad, mate. Well, oh. what was Richmond the bad? What's what's going on there hey, a bit, mate? Have you, obviously, you, no, no. And said, I know, I know. Palmer bit puts a survey out and asks the people and the punters exactly that. Who was the bad over the weekend? Majority ruled the Tigers. Gold Coast Suns, mate. Fair Nickham, uh, <laughs> Jason <and Housen. laughs> Yeah. Your bets too, mate. Uh, on the Rover win, Essendon won. Freeman have got the job done. Your sons, as we just said, let you down. So two out of three, yeah. mate, bad. And uh, the twos will do, mate. None out of four, mate. Man, yeah, but hang on, hang on. Doctor Sam Darcy. <laughs> okay. You know what? <laughs> Come on, mate. They all, they all kicked one goal one. Yeah. So they all had the opportunity to kick two goals. Yeah, good I, point. All, all good we have point. to do is give them, the, give them the shots. They've got to do – can you actually bet – 
on scoring shots, <laughs> not on goals. Scoring That's volume. what we need. Scoring <laughs> shots because Stringer kicked one goal too, and the others kicked one goal one. So they uh, all had the right shots. Yeah, he's got to put it through the big posts. They had opportunities, mate. Uh, absolutely. And uh, well, Super Sunday was mine. Tigers only let down. Hawthorne won. Brisbane won. Two out of three would have been a result for the Palmer Bet followers, but not to be. Hey, massive game of footy Thursday night to kick off this round of action, Spike. Carlton v. Melbourne, 7.30. Hopefully, it'll be a massive crowd because Carlton have got the biggest following going around at the moment. Head to head, the Blue Baggers, $1.98. Melbourne, $1.82. At the line, Carlton, plus $2.50. $1.90. Melbourne, minus $2.50. $1.90. Blues coming off that tough, tight loss. What oh. a goal was by Nick Dacos to seal it against the Pies. Melbourne coming off a tight game against the Geelong Cats, where it too ebbed and flowed all game, didn't it? Kind of the lead. Yeah, game. absolutely. It was good. Um, I, I must admit, he spied. I'm leaning towards the baggers here, and I reckon they are great value at a dollar ninety eight. Hey, look, I think um Carlton have really impressed me. I think they've impressed everyone the way they've gone about it. It's not about you know, the two big forwards anymore. They're better than that. They're such, you know, right. when you look through, when you look through their midfield with the you know, acres and, uh, you know, these blokes who have been, Cripps has been fantastic as well, but, you know, they've got so many good numbers around there. So I've actually, like Newman, Carlton have been great. It's going to be a good battle because you've got the two big forwards versus the two big backs that we often talk about in Melbourne. And Carlton have been stiff. You know, this is, I think, talking and looking at the stats, earlier on in the week, the biggest crowds in the AFL in the history of the game, the top three, over 400, three times already this season. That's and amazing. that's off the back. It's a, it's unbelievable. And, and um, we're in the middle of a cost of living crisis too, Spider, which is phenomenal. They, they can get to the footy. They can follow the baggers. Uh, I'm on the man. I'm on Melbourne. I'm still going to stick with them. I reckon Clayton of Oliver Petrarca. I reckon, you know, the big one for me here, and we spoke about Grundy a little earlier, Gorn's your man here. He's Gorn, on he's on fire at the moment. He'll yeah. have 20, 25. You'll probably kick a goal or two, and he's your man. Nah, I'm with the Blues, mate. I reckon the Blues, the value, and uh, my Maddie's must-have is going to come back in this game too. Oh, uh, early, early yeah, collect. I'm going early, mate. Thursday night special. Uh, it's going to be a belter. I reckon, oh, I reckon the Blues are an absolute special. There you go. I reckon they're just loving the big, uh, the big stage at the moment, uh, and they'll get the job done this weekend. Hey, Geelong, Port Adelaide, Friday seven ten at GMHBA Stadium. Back at home for the Cats, head to head. They're a dollar twenty eight. Port Adelaide three seventy. Been hit by injuries. Geelong at the line minus twenty three and a half dollar ninety. Port Adelaide plus twenty three and a half a dollar ninety. Um, Cats so hard to beat at GMHBA oh. Stadium. Port Adelaide, a touch disappointing last week. few injuries. They took a few in that were uh, under a little bit of uh, scrutiny, Rosie being one of them. Kenny's copped a fair bit of sting. He liked going back to the category where he played a lot of his footy over his career. Yeah, look, I don't think, um, you know, and it was good that Kenny come out and said he shouldn't have played. He said, gee, he did everything right until fatigue hit him. Yeah. Um, but still, they've still got a couple of injuries. They're still missing a bit. And I was a bit disappointed with Port Adelaide. Adelaide were very, very good the way they... They moved and ran the footy, but they really exposed Port Adelaide. And you know, if it isn't without their midfield, Port Adelaide at the moment aren't getting enough from the fringe players. So Geelong, on the other hand, gee, they're good. They are very, very good. That, and that, they've actually it's... impressed me, Spot. I, I probably haven't given them much kudos on this uh, podcast each and every week, but they they are the real deal, aren't they? I think they are. You know, and now they, you know, they're talking about Tomahawk can't fit in because of just the way the game's going. Um, and if he makes that call, that's a huge call. It's one of the legends of the club, but that's where the footy's at. You've got to win games of footy. You've got to get to finals first before you worry about anything else. So, yeah, I I think Geelong have got so many avenues. You know, Jeremy Cameron's been been great. Yeah, they haven't got Dangerfield, but they don't need it. They've just got a real good string of young blokes and good young belief, which yeah. is surprising, which you, you wouldn't think you'd say that about Geelong. Nah, they're, they're, so early. they're the masters of recruiting. Oh, they just keep reinventing the list, you know, yeah. every year. And they just, they're good at it. They're, they're kind of uh, under 30 kind of picks uh, are as good as, and they've probably got another half a dozen of them sitting there waiting in the wings. So yeah, uh, cats to get the job done. I reckon they'll win. Uh, I reckon the line is a good play here, Spide. What's the line at? 23 and a half. 
Oh, that's a big line. You reckon tight. You reckon? Oh, I reckon they'll get the job done by four plus goals. Oh, I reckon it'd be, yeah, it'll be, I reckon it'd be right on the money. I reckon Palmer better get any, I reckon if you could pick, pick, if you could kick half a point, they'll, there'll be 23 and a half points in it. <laughs> I saw one, we called, the, <laughs> we called the footy a couple of weeks ago, you know, and I've always imagined this happening, but the ball actually landed right on top of the, the goal. No. Yeah. I'm fe- I feeding him saw it. I'll send you the footage. It's uh, <laughs> quite amazing. So that was, it was a highlight because I'd never Did it get stuck there. there? Didn't get stuck there, mate. <laughs> Did not get stuck. Hey, Fremantle, Sydney, Friday, eight thirty pm oh. Stadium head to head. The Dockers two ten. Sydney a dollar sixty seven at the line. Fremantle plus six and a half dollar ninety. Sydney minus six and a half dollar ninety. Any chance, Spider? Any oh. chance <laughs> you can tip the Fremantle Dockers, mate? The Pearls on them. The Purple Haze is absolutely hazy <laughs> with that 50-year-old physique of yours now. <laughs> hey, I was on him last weekend. I was on him last oh, weekend. Oh, well done. It gets a <laughs> Come and on, they mate. won. Come on. How can you go against Sydney, the best team in the competition? Imagine, like, yeah. the, the Lizard over in Fremantle, he's going to – he'll run 45 kilometres, yeah. the Lizard on, on the big he's oval of Optus. He is. And then you got Golden, who just love it. To me, as much as I think Frio, it will be a really good test, a really good learning experience. Match up your young with your young. And then I know you've still got Fife and like Fife and Sarong at Brayshaw in the middle versus Golden, Heaney. You know, these blokes, it's going to be huge. So, Fremantle, you can't say they're not a chance, but Sydney are just too good. They're just too disciplined. They know what they need to do. They're very solid. I'm sticking with me, Fremantle. No, you can't. I, no, I am. I just, I love them. I love the brand of footy they're playing. And uh, and they're going to take another big scalp. And uh, they've got a good record, to be honest, against the uh, the Sydney Swans. So go the Purple Haze. For my, All right. And my multi's adding up here, too. It's going to be nice for you this weekend. I can't wait. I can't wait to see yours. I'm being smart about my choices. You need to be, mate, because you're struggling <laughs> a little bit at the moment. Hey, Hawthorne St Kilda, Saturday, one forty-five, Uni of Tassie Stadium. Uh, always interesting down there. The weather doesn't look too bad. Head to head, the Hawks two forty-four, Saints a dollar fifty-six, Hawthorne at the line plus nine and a half dollar ninety, St Kilda minus nine and a half a dollar ninety. Looking for back-to-back victories, uh, the Hawks spied. Um, what do you reckon? Well, it's both of them really back-to-back uh, danger games. This is a danger game for the Saints and. You know, weeks ago you would have probably ticked it off, but we know what Hawthorne are capable of. We speak about them each and every week. And, you know, if the Saints aren't on, they're going to really struggle here. And, you know, Bradley Hill, uh, Wanganin off halfback, all these blokes need to get their hands on the footy. But more, more importantly, they need to hit their targets going forward. Their forwards need to be able to be hit up, kick straight. They just don't look damaging enough going forward at the moment, the Saints. So, you know, they're, they're good on the weekend, but you're playing against North Melbourne. So, very important game from tough game, especially down there in Tassie. Hawthorne's always better in Tassie. Low scorings of like low scoring affair yeah. in Tassie. So not big scores to be kicked. No. Nah, so you don't want to muck around with it. You just want to get it forward. So I'm going to stick with the Saints, but look, you'd be flipping a coin. Uh, I'm sticking with the Hawks, mate. They got the job done <laughs> last week at four bucks and uh, they'll get the job done this week. Uh, at a nice little price against a side that I reckon is just just treading water at the moment. They just they play a funny little brand of footy for mine. I they do. I reckon the Saints will be there at the end of the year, funnily enough. But I, I reckon they'll just maybe sneak into the eight. Uh, right, at Essendon Giants Saturday, four thirty-five PM at Marvel Stadium. Head to head, the Bombers two thirty, Giants a dollar sixty-two. Essendon at the line plus seven and a half dollar ninety. Giants minus seven and a half a dollar ninety. This is a uh, this is an interesting I think yeah. Essendon are like St Kilda last year. Every time we throw them up, they're the outsider in a contest. Yeah. In the job done, Spide. They are. They are, absolutely. And they did on the weekend. And uh, I thought it was a great game of footy. You know, really took it to the Eagles. And it was always going to be hard. But they end up getting over the line. And, you know, you look at, uh, you know, their players who just, you know, their midfield, again, you know, you got Stringer, you got two-metre Peter, you got all these Great players, but as you say, they're not each and every week. We always look at them and they're always the underdog. And then you're coming up against the Giants who, 
the only thing you talk about that tsunami. Can the bombers stop that tsunami or can they get over it? When it turns over, are they quick enough to hurt them the other way? If they go out with that Essendon edge that we saw you know, a month ago, absolutely. They, they've got to really try and battle up against the Giants and have a real good crack. I'd love to see which way you're going because this will be a very you want, interesting. You want, in, in, you want me to get in first? I'm going with uh, I'm going with the Giants to bounce back. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you because okay, I'm with the Giants because I reckon they should be able to bounce back too, and yeah. they're going to come back in my multi a little later on with a couple of Saturday special. Oh, the old Saturday special, I love it. <laughs> hey, I like the Giants too, but I, I, I've been impressed. Zach Merritt's in uh, kind of Brownlow Medal winning form for mine. He's kicking goals, he's doing all the team things, and uh, and just playing some good footy. But uh, Giants for mine, Richmond Western Bulldogs Saturday seven thirty. Oh. The MCG under lights, uh, the television coverage. It's all going to be uh, the spotlight's going to be on Bevo and those magnificent new set of chompers that he's got. Ah, oh, the, the pearlies, the pearly whites, Richmond. Three dollars twenty. Western Bulldogs a dollar thirty five. The Tigers at the line plus nine and a half dollar ninety. Western Bulldogs minus nine and a half a dollar ninety. Spied surely, and and I'm a Richmond supporter, mate. But this is just if if the Bulldogs don't beat us with the team we got on the park at the moment, then uh, oh, I don't know what happens, mate. I know. I'm. Th- I'm th- I. I just, honestly, you just this is a tough, tough game. You don't know which way to go. You you think. Bulldogs all, all every day of the week I'm because bull- of the Tigers. I'm going Bulldogs. I'm not even thinking heart, mate. I'm going nah. Bulldogs. Yeah, I'm going Bulldogs as well. But, you know, will it be the top four Bulldogs that rock up or the bottom four? We know Richmond, if Richmond get a smell and get a bit of a run, yes, they can run. We know they can run. They've got players there. The loom. And absolutely, if they're top, you know, we know what the top 10 is going to dish out. Yeah, If Dusty decides to kick four, suddenly you're sitting there going, okay, we're in trouble here. So, you know, there's going to be no Libertore. So, you know, they've got a couple of injury concerns, right. yeah. the dogs. So, really, Richmond can challenge them here. I I think this is going to be a great game of footy. I know yeah, they're two, they, they, two sides. They rely on the bond, aren't they, the Bulldogs? Yeah. Like, like they just, he, he is just, he's the barometer and he just does everything, doesn't he? Kicks goals, goes forward, takes marks. We saw that on the weekend. You know, got to the last, you know, eight minutes of the game and same thing when it, the game was in the balance, he was on the bench for four or five minutes and they said they need to get the bond on. Yeah. He got on from the last seven minutes, gave him opportunity. Bang. It's amazing what he can do. Yeah. But you can't just rely on the bond all the time. Nah. So, so you going, you going Bulldogs, mate? I'm going the dogs. Yeah. I'm going the dogs. But do I think it'll be a good game win, of footy. Do you reckon they'll win easy or do you reckon it'll be tight? They won't win easy. I don't think they've got the scoring. I no, that will be tight. It'll be a good game. Be North, within 18 points. Hugo Hagen, Darcy. Yeah, but they haven't they haven't lit the place up though. Hey mate, young Darcy too, just quietly reminds me a little bit of a, a young spider ever at Big Fella. Just uh I had a bit of a look at him on the weekend and he's uh he's gonna be all right at the caper, mate, I reckon. Well, I just tell him to kick two goals straight and keep my multi on track, not one <laughs> goal one. So. <laughs> Get down there and do a bit of ruck coaching or something, mate. I reckon it'd be great to see you back in uh, one of these AFL clubs, big fella. Hey, Gold Coast v North Melbourne, Saturday, 7.32 AO Stadium in Darwin. That's right, Darwin. Long oh, yeah. way to go for North. Gold Coast dollar oh eight. The Kangas at eight bucks. Gold Coast at the line forty three and a half dollar ninety. Oh, Melbourne plus forty three and a half dollar ninety. Now I reckon generally this time of the year, bit dewy, bit moist, bit warm. oh. Um, yeah. I reckon the line. I'm going to be closer and tighter. It could be one of those uh, one of those day spite. Well, it's not going to be a massive high. It never is a high scoring game there, as you say. It's hot. It's humid. It's slippery. So, you know, if you are punting on this game, remember it is in Darwin. That's the most important thing. Gold Coast Sun's got a couple of games. So that line is absolutely every part juicy because it's a, it's a tough contest. The Gold Coast Suns were far from special against Brisbane Lions who had no one. Yeah. They had a heap of injuries. Yeah. And they still just damaged the Suns. Dylan would have been disappointed, wouldn't he? Oh, absolutely. Like it's a Q clash. It's like a, yeah, okay. It's not as big as the, the rivalry in South Australia or WA, but still they try and build this rivalry up. You want to be able to represent your, your state or your, your town and your territory. And they didn't on the weekend. They got bullied and bashed and, you know, even with all the injuries going the other way. So the Gold Coast Suns need to make a statement. 
need to come out. They pride themselves in Darwin. I don't think they've lost there over the last few years either. So they've been very good up there. On the other hand, North, North, as we said, by the end of the year, they're going to beat someone. Yeah. When's Who? that going to be? That's yeah. it. Who gives yeah. them every opportunity up there. They've got some great young players. They're going all right. I, I'm going to stick with the Suns. Surely the Suns with just Jared Witts, just the sheer size of him, giving him first use around stoppages on a slippery night. Surely it's going to be an advantage. Yeah, Suns will win, but I reckon you're right. I reckon the line's tight. Um, and uh, that's probably the way you'd be maybe playing. Spot, I want Palmer bet to do us a market because I actually, I'm going to go the other way. I don't know whether the Kangaroos are going to get a win. Oh, B24. So I'd love a market. So uh, I'll, I'll we'll send the message out to the boys at Palmer and see if we can get a market for next week's show to go through the entire season. Without a uh, without a win, without I don't a win, see it. But I just, I've just got that feeling. Yeah, I don't think it would have been done for a while either. No, Fitzroy, I reckon, would have been probably the last in the early '90s spot, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, right? But maybe, I, but normally you can sneak one. That is, that is, uh, Kyle. If you're watching this, which I hope you are, because you <laughs> the edits together, <laughs> mate, if you can look after us for us, big fella. We want to mark it for next week. Uh, on the Kangas to go through the season, not winning a game. Uh, Collingwood v West Coast Sunday, one pair Marvel mm. State. This will be a, uh, a, a a an interesting encounter for mine. Spot the Pies dollar oh nine West Coast seven fifty. They've dollar nine a dollar oh nine at the line. Collingwood minus forty one half dollar ninety. West Coast plus forty one and a half a dollar ninety. Uh, remember, it was only about what five years ago they played off in a grand final these two teams and the uh, West Coast Eagles got the job done, Spite. Yeah, um, well, you know what? It's a dollar nine. I find West Coast have been really good for the last month. They have been really mate. good. Collingwood's got a lot of injuries. Up. Yes. Yep. Collingwood's got a lot of injuries. The Eagles going all right. My oh, check. Colling- yep. Yeah. Yep. So look, I think Collingwood will win, but I wouldn't be convinced at a dollar nine. No, I'd I'm, be taking. I'm, I'd be taking the line with the Eagles. Yeah, yeah, and and just they're, they're going to put up a competitive performance again. That's all you have to do for sides to win. And like a couple of weeks ago, you know, there's quite a few sides winning by, you know, that that ten goal margin. But it's not so much anymore. Sides yeah. are really starting. If you're five or ten percent off, you had a couple of injuries. You would take care of Nick Dacos, get somebody to tag him. Suddenly, you know, you're you're a lot better chance. I just think, yeah, yeah. I, I think they've just got way too many injury concerns to be that short. Well, uh, yeah, Colin, good to get the job done, but I'm with yeah. you, fella. Uh, I think it's uh, it's not a dollar oh nine game for mine. Right, Adelaide, Brisbane, Sunday four pm at the Adelaide Oval, head to head. Adelaide dollar sixty five, Brisbane two twenty at the line. Adelaide minus six and a half dollar ninety, Brisbane plus six and a half dollar ninety. This is a ridiculous market again for mine. I know Brisbane got a few outs, but geez, they were good last week. They were, they were fantastic. They were fantastic. Adelaide, two or three weeks ago, mate, you could have wrote your own ticket for them, to be honest. Oh. The, 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 the change in the turnaround, the market's been unbelievable for this one. Three weeks ago, they would have played this out at Mount Barker. Nobody yeah. would have been turning <laughs> up. But now it's like, we're here. We can flood the gates and open up because, yeah, Adelaide have been really good. Them last week against Port Adelaide did exactly everything they wanted. Big Tex to, to kick the opening goal was just fantastic and you know, every one of their players is now starting to believe what they had mid to late last year. So Adelaide are building nicely. The Lions, under all scrutiny they've had for the last couple of weeks, come out and absolutely demolish the Suns with a lot of injuries. They had a lot of blokes go down, two knees, um, one before the even start of the game. So yeah, a new, new player comes in. Um, so for me, I think it's going to be another great Sunday game. I like, you know, Sunday games, especially the Arbo games, haven't been much chop. They actually have been on the on the board over the last couple of weeks. I'm going to stick with the Crows at home. That's the only reason. Straight out, only because it's at home, I'm going to stick with the Crows. They say, when in doubt, stay at home. Mm. I'm going to stay at home with the Crows. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm actually going with Brisbane. I just thought they were the value. Um, at uh, at two dollars eighteen, so that'll do me, big fella. Um, head to head, happy with that bet. Let's go through your pick nine, buddy. Right, um, yep, my pick nine. I'm sitting with. Uh, I'm going to go Melbourne, Geelong, yep. 
Super Saturday. We've got Sydney, St Kilda, Giants, the Dogs, the Suns over north, and then Collingwood and Crows to wrap it up. We're pretty similar. What odds, buddy? Uh, my odds for that one are around 57. 57 bucks. Now, we are very similar apart from I've gone with Carlton, uh, Geelong, I've gone the Hawks. Yep. And Fred, they're the three different. All right. I went the Dockers to defeat Sydney, Greater Western Sydney, Western Bulldogs, Gold Coast, Collingwood, Brisbane to bring it home. So we have got a few different there. Yeah. Uh, how much? Uh, yours, mine was 57.63. So oh, yours is going to be a lot. No, mine's only 73.62. Is it? Doesn't seem enough, to be honest, when I'm going a few outsiders. But that's how tight some of these games are. Like Carton and Melbourne, there's only, what, 10 yeah. cents between them. So there's not much difference, yeah. I guess. But. Um, I'll take that, mate. And I'm going to have something on this week because I just uh, I'm due overdue to pluck due. out of the bag. Well, uh, now your best bets, mate. What else you got for us, buddy? Well, I got to. I'm taking the simple Super Saturday special. Love it. And I'm going. I just reckon Sydney. I reckon Sydney over Frio, Saints over the Hawks, Giants over Essendon. Um, it's called Alive at the Line. So take them all Perfect. at the line and odds. Uh, that will give you six eighty five. Nice, mate. Six eighty five. Bang. Yeah, that is really good. Yep. And and else for a spot. Well, like, okay. I've gone back to the drawing board a couple of weeks ago. I said three plus goals. Bang, bang, bang. Got that at eleven dollars last week. All my guys, they had enough shots on goal. They couldn't kick straight. Yeah. So I've gone straight back through boys. the books. I've gone back through the books and I started looking at straight kickers. Okay, so now this is what, all I've got. What the book tells you, the straight kickers. Oh, absolutely. I'll look at everything. Okay, so from Fremantle, I reckon yeah. Josh Tracy, Joshy will kick two goals. Okay. Yeah. And then St Kilda, Jack Hayes will kick two goals. So these are the most accurate. Yeah, I love yep. it. Riccardi for uh, GWS, he's a freak. He can kick goals. Most accurate, two goals. And Jed Walter, he's let me down. Last week, but I'm giving him one more chance in Darwin to kick two goals. So oh. those four players. So you got Tracy at Fremantle, Hayes at St Kilda, Riccardi at GWS, and Walt Walter at the Gold Coast. Twelve bucks thirty five. That's nice. That's nice. That's good. And they're they're amongst the goal kickers every week. That's nice. I like it. Well, I'm going back. Here we go. Thursday Here night. <laughs> Thursday night footy, big fella. And I just call this Thursday night one two three. It's a civil <laughs> I love it. Only because they had to think on the spot they had to give it a name because you come up with cool. Oh, I love it. I don't. So all I've done, Carlton to win one to 39, right? Uh, they won't yeah. win any more than that. They'll get the job done though, the baggers. Then I've got any time goal scorer, right? So just yep. any time goal scorer, Paddy Cripps, right? Yep. The big boy will lead the way. He'll kick one, all right? Then the yeah. big boy, big Harry Mackay is going to kick two. Oh, 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 you're not. So you're Harry's going to go two plus. <laughs> and then the other big no. boy, go down to the full four line, a big Charlie, he's going to kick three plus. No. So Thursday night, one, two, three. Carlton to win one to 39, $13.40. Is it? Mate, it's a great that's, bet. So, that's a good value bet. That's good fun. That is a good bet. So Cripps will just, if Cripps, you just get down there and lead from the front. I can see him just, you know, kicking a couple. He'll always kick one. Absolutely, mate. Harry will slot a couple. Charlie will slot three. Blue baggers win by 23. Happy days. Could you add on the end of that, if if Charlie's kicking three and Harry's kicking two, Steve May will get four weeks. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Boom. Yeah. Bang. (laughs) Hey, download the Palmer Band app, of course. Get involved. It's really, really simple. And as we say, always gamble responsibly and think about what you're really gambling with and just have a bit of fun. That's what we do, Spide, each and every week. Absolutely. Just, you know, a couple of little dollars here and there. Don't go silly and bet within your means, mate. That's the key, isn't it? And that's the fun of it. Jump on uh, the app and have a look around because, as you say, the value is having a little bit of fun amongst your mates, trying to pick the uh, the goal scorers, the one, two, threes. You know, I had a look at um, disposals before and, you know, Nick Dacos and the Bont and Bradley Hill and Laird, you only get 25 plus, but it's a little bit short for me for this week. I thought, oh, I want a little bit more value. So I went with the goal kickers. 
Uh, love it, mate. Hey, listen, Spy, it's going to be another cracking round of AFL, buddy. Uh, always a pleasure to catch up with you, mate. And uh, you are looking magnificent in your 51st year, big fella. Oh, I made it to 50, which is a bonus. <laughs> it's uh, Honestly, it's a true bonus. Nah, good on you, mate. <laughs> Great to talk, Legend. We'll Thank talk you. next week. Absolutely. Enjoy your weekend. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.